You may be killing the life of your water heater by not flushing it, but I'll show you how a few minutes can add years to the life of your water heater and save you thousands over a lifetime. First, turn off the water supply to your water heater. I didn't have a shutoff valve, so I'm gonna throw one in there for you. Next, shut off your gas supply valve or turn your gas valve to the off setting. If you have an electric water heater, turn off the breaker. You never want it turning on with an empty water tank. Now, we need to drain the water. Hook up your garden hose to the bottom drain valve and run it to a floor drain. Turn on the valve. Open a hot water spigot somewhere in the house so that the tank can breathe and water can flow out of the hose. I like to monitor what's coming out of my water heater, so I use a clear container. You can also use a white shirt over a bucket as a filter. This will take a while to drain. When it's completely empty, this is where the flushing begins. Open and close your valve a few times really quickly. There is a dip tube that runs to the bottom of the tank. Turning this valve on and off really quickly will flush water to the bottom, agitating the sediments and flushing them out of the tank through the hose. All of these minerals, sediment, and rust will gravitate to the bottom and cause it to start to corrode and also reduces the efficiency by causing an insulation barrier from your heat source to your water. After you've flushed it a few times and it starts running clear, go ahead and turn off your drain valve. Remove your hose and if your drain valve doesn't stop leaking, like mine, go ahead and grab some caps and cap it off. You should always have some of these caps on hand and they're really cheap so I'll have an Amazon link below where you could go pick some up whether you need them or not. Now turn your water supply valve back on and you should be able to hear hissing or air going through whatever valve you had open. Once you get a good flow you can shut off the valve and it'll pressurize your water heater. It's pretty simple but before you turn on the water go ahead and change out your anode rod which you've probably been neglecting and I have a video right here if you click on it that'll show you exactly how to do that.